What's up everyone and welcome back to Top 5 Central. Today we're looking at the top 5 teacher pranks on students. Also, let's see if we can smash 5,000 likes on this video, but with that said, let's get right into it. Number 5. The Teacher Spelling Bee Now, I don't know about you guys, but I hated spelling tests as a kid, and even I've got to admit, what this teacher did is pretty funny. I mean, there aren't many pranks you can pull on a class of 4th graders, and this teacher managed to find the perfect way to drive them absolutely crazy. Basically, he started the quiz as if it was a completely normal day. But the longer it went on, the weirder it got. Like most of the words were complete nonsense, and the ones that actually existed were either bits of gay slang or references to drag queens from RuPaul's Drag Race. Obviously, the kids had no idea how to deal with it, but what's really adorable is that you can hear them cheering when they get one right, and yelling whenever the teacher throws in some random silent letters just to confuse them. Even better, the kids really don't have a problem standing up to him, because when he tells them it's an April Fool's joke, all hell breaks loose. If you listen closely, you can hear one kid yelling, It's not even April, which might be my favorite bit. Alright, going through the list with the spelling, you're checking your own list, here we go. The first word was Blorsky, I lost my Blorsky at a carnival. B-L-O-R-S-K-E-E. -E. E -E. The next word was Tangentine. I eat my spaghetti with a Tangentine. That it's T-A-N-G-E-T-E-E-N, tangentine. The next word, was a matter. Students said they were sick. I said, was a matter with you. W-A-Z-A-M-A-T-A, -A -A. was a matter. Was a matter. Your next word, number 11, is April Fools, because this is an April Fools joke. Close enough. April Fool. Number four, fake professor on the first day. One thing about teachers is that they love freaking out new students so they can get up to some pretty crazy things on the first day of a new semester. With that said, this prank goes way beyond just pretending to be super strict or walking in fake hungover. Like, the faces of the people in class pretty much say it all. The setup is pretty basic. They just have a fake teacher walk in and start talking. But what he does is majorly hilarious. I mean, he starts off by telling them how hard the class is and then makes all the med students stand up just to tell most of them that they'll never make it. That's pretty bad, right? But it's only the beginning because then he makes them all put their laptops away and says they'll be punished if he sees them again. All that is pretty great, but the best bit is how they round off the trick because when the real teacher shows up, things get even crazier. He straight up calls out the fake professor who literally makes a break for it running up the stairs and straight out the lecture hall. Good afternoon. Uh, I'm Dr. Adam Steiner, and I'll be your professor for Chemistry 131. One thing I want to go over with you first, uh, I know a lot of you are freshmen. How many of you are freshmen here? Most of you, yeah. <laughs> Something you want to know about this class, this class is extremely hard. Uh, last year, 55% of our people in chemistry um, who the hell are you? <laughs> Number three, Professor Destroys Student's Phone. Now, teachers are pretty good at pranks when they're by themselves, so you know when they team up with their students, it's definitely about to get serious. This teacher had an amazing idea to remind his class who was boss, but he needed the help of one of them to really sell it, and together they managed to trick everyone in the room. Like, the teacher has a reputation for shooting kids with a marshmallow crossbow whenever they're on their phone, which is pretty awesome if you ask me, and that's all that happens at first. After that though, the kid on his phone, who's obviously in on it, just keeps talking, so the teacher shoots him again. The class is already laughing, but they don't stop there. He keeps talking, and the teacher basically just loses it. He takes the phone and smashes it, and the kid runs out of class, pretending to cry super loudly behind the door. The class are in shock, like they really don't know what to do, and assume that their teacher is now an abusive teacher until the teacher breaks and finally admits that it was all fake. It's pretty funny, but if you watch his class while it's happening, they're all terrified, so maybe he's a better teacher than he thinks. There's a lot of things that are different, relatively speaking, right? So... Seriously. 
Okay, so why is there a variability in your class? <laughs> is it important to realize about, about this class in general or just what happened? That was a complete setup. Okay. <laughs> I cannot keep a straight face and stay in my life. Are you seeing? Oh. <laughs> Number two, math teacher's prank revenge. To be completely honest, this prank is probably the harshest one on this list, but when you hear what the poor teacher had to deal with, it kind of sounds like his class deserved it. I mean, while he was gone, the sticky note bombed his desk twice, ruined his blackboard, and even sent him on a scavenger hunt to find his own keys, so he'd had to deal with plenty of pranks of his own. I'm not surprised he got sick of it and wanted revenge, and I've gotta hand it to him too. The revenge he came up with was pretty perfect. First, he went through every textbook and found the hardest questions he could, and then he altered them so they either made no sense or were impossible to answer. Then he put them in a test on the day before Thanksgiving and watched the class go crazy trying to figure out the answers. It's pretty funny, like some kids just completely give up and the others are slamming their books down and glaring. The best thing is though, they might be angry while they're doing the test, but they get even angrier when they find out they came to class for no reason. Is it possible to know? Hey, uh, you guys remember the couple of days when we pranked you and you thought it was funny? This is not Are you not kidding really, me? Just, boom, got you all. Got you all. Okay. I hate it's you. Right here, right here. That's right. That's right. It's not even real. What do you think? What do you think? Is that good? I planned this for days. That is not <laughs> Number one, math professor fixes projector screen. Okay, I'll be real here. I don't think this is the best teacher prank I've ever seen, because it might be the best prank I've ever seen, period. Like, the work and setup that must have gone into this is absolutely insane, and by the sounds of it, the guy's class thought so too. Everyone knows that most teachers are rubbish with technology, so seeing a teacher take that idea and run with it is hilarious, especially since he proves everyone completely wrong. He starts off by accidentally drawing on his board, but then instead of fixing it, he YouTubes a video to help. The video comes to life and then the two teachers basically try everything to get rid of the mark from cats to cleaning supplies and even lightsabers. What's great is that whenever you think that you figured it out, they add another level of interaction. So it's basically impossible to understand how many layers are there. Also, the guy's acting is pretty spot on and the class gasps when they figure out what's going on is basically impossible to beat. Um, you, may, you, you use this X right here to get the... Uh oh. Oh my gosh, I just drew on that. Hold on. Uh, uh, you know what? I'm going to um, search for a solution. Let's see, video. Nah. Maybe this guy can help me. There we go. Hey. Hey, you. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, do you think you could help me? I accidentally drew on the screen right here. Um, I don't know what to do. No, a little bit farther down, farther down, right there. Yeah, there you go. Oh, that's not working. That's making it worse. Um, I'm not sure what to do here. What's that? Oh, okay, yeah, all right. That's, that's just getting the cat dirty. That's not working. Let's see if I can do this.
There we go. Okay, actually let me move this out of the way so you can see it there. Move that there. There we go, I think that worked. And there's our video on the top five teacher pranks on students. If you enjoyed the video, please feel free to leave a like down below and subscribe so you see whenever we upload a video. Also, if you have your own top five or top 10 idea, feel free to use our extremely handy form in the description to submit it. With that said, thank you all for watching. Hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video.